Hey folks, thanks for joining us once again. Well, as you can see, Andy's here with me again. Uh, this is obviously filmed only minutes after the uh, VB revisit. But uh, yeah, we're uh, doing another review again in the garage. I know it's not a wonderful backdrop, this garage door, but uh, yeah, it's rained. Uh, we were thinking of relocating to the backyard, but well, it's all wet, it's windy. Windy, horrible conditions, mm. so hey, let's do it in here. Yeah, let's just continue doing these reviews in here. Now, uh, as you can see, we're having a look at one of Portugal's leading brands today, Sagres, which comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. And uh, it's also in a rather large bottle, a one litre bottle, in wow. fact. Now, uh, that's uh, 33.8 fluid ounces um, for those of you who use the Imperial system. All right, well, um, Andy, shall we open this and uh, pour it out? Let's do it. I think the uh, only uh, Portuguese beer that I've reviewed, if memory serves, I could be wrong, I've reviewed a lot of beers, but it would have been uh, Superboc, okay. which I found to be most excellent. So hopefully this one's also good. Good amount of head on that. Yeah, definitely. For yours, Andy. Thank you. Give it an aggressive pour. Yep. And now the bottle is empty. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Balance. Perfect. Mm. All right, so let's uh, have a look at the appearance. Well, um, yeah, it's clear, Very it's golden. golden. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it's moderately effervescent. And uh, yeah, there's a nice amount of uh, bright white head there. Just uh, a little under two fingers mm -hmm. for me. All right, so onto the aroma. I'm not picking up a terrible lot there. I can't at all really, no. There's it's... maybe a really faint smell of grain, but you really have to reach for it. Yeah, tiny hint, hey? Yeah. All right, well, given that we've uh, talked about the appearance and aroma, it could only mean it's time for the taste test. test. Looking forward to this. Mm, the most important part of the review, folks. So um, let's dive in. Cheers, Andy. Cheers. <laughs> All right, well, up front, I'm definitely getting some uh, malt flavor there. Uh, I think they say that they use uh, cereal grains uh, in this, if uh, I had a look at the, uh, the recipe. Mm. Yeah, I can definitely taste yeah. that malt straight away. Mm. It's not overpowering though, is it? It's, but it's uh, got a, a different sort of mm. taste about it. Um, oh, something that I haven't really tried mm. before, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to work out, are these like some sort of off flavours or is it just some sort of grain blend that um, Could be the grains, we're maybe, I don't unfamiliar know. with? Um, but it definitely has its own different distinctive sort mm, of taste definitely. about yeah, it. Yeah, very much so. I've not had a beer or a lager, um, I should say, to be more precise, like this before. It has a different taste about it. I do need to have another gulp. Mm. Are you getting that flavor? I am. It's I can't really put my finger on what it is. It's just mm. little unusual to what I've normally been mm. used to, like with mm. a, a lager. Um, but it's mm. I to don't me, it's sort of like a really faint sort of cooked vegetable taste. Yeah, that well said, actually. Yeah, something mm. along those lines. Yeah, I could probably put it down to mm. something like that. I'm not sure I'm overly fond of it. It's not no, gross. I, no, it's not gross, um, but it's. Mm. Um, Nothing stands out to be that impressive with it. Mm, it's no, just... it, it sort of, for me, it sort of detracts from the enjoyment of it. Yeah, so. yeah. 
<laughs> I thought it might have been something that was um, yeah. going to be quite impressive from from the other lager. That you yeah, tried, well, I, I but, spoke um, of uh, Superbock and pretty highly. Yeah. It was it was excellent. I wish I could get more of that, but just one of those things that you know one day shows up here in Australia mm. and you can buy it, yep. and then <laughs> gone. A few months go by, and then all of a sudden you can no longer get it. Mm. It's a shame. Yeah, no, it's a real shame. But anyway, um, back to Sagres. Uh, <clears throat> I guess it's drinkable. And at 5%, I suppose you could session. Mm. It's not really my thing, though. I'm just finding the flavor of it just not to my liking. It's not oh. terrible. I mean, that, that sort of twang that it has of cooked vegetables is sort of quite well, acute but yeah if you like mm. that sort of thing yeah sure but it's um not mm. something that um obviously in portugal they love it well right? that's yeah. right hey mm. yeah and it's um mm. it's probably a a pretty popular thing there oh think. yeah but um mm. just from i guess what i'm used to it's um mm. probably not my real cup of tea but um mm. anyhow okay well um let's uh have one last gulp and yeah. uh, give it a score out of 10. Mm. All right, well, all in all, um, it's decent, I suppose, but Probably, in a sense, barely. You know, it's, barely. Yeah, it's barely it's, possible. Yeah, it's mm. it's mid mid range. Yeah, yeah. I'm not overly impressed with it. Um, perhaps I'm just not to, used to beers that that taste like this. But then again, like well, I'm on the same page as you with that. Like, Super I mean, Bock was fantastic. I yeah, wish you could have tried it. I yeah. guess that we mm. may have had the the build up from that experience mm. but um, i don't know but yeah it's definitely got that mm. taste whether it is like a, a vegetable-y type flavor to it i'm not too sure but mm. it's something something that about the different. grain blend that, yeah that comes yeah. through there i mean and all you really taste is just subtle sweet grains in this i mean there's no bitterness or anything it's no not at all it, the flavor is pretty neutral but there's just a bit of like malt there but that malt taste is just mm, to me it's not quite right no it's not mm. no. all right well i'm afraid i'd probably have to give this a five out of ten mm, i agree yeah. five mid-range mm. five yeah mid so um there you go folks uh a five out of ten for sagres so yeah it's not really one i could uh, recommend i'm afraid with a score like that no all right, well, thanks for joining us, and um, yeah, we'll just try and finish the rest of this. Until next time, folks, fare thee well, well, all. Oh.